Good morning, class. My name is Clinton Ellison III. This is our social media marketing course, and today we're going to be talking about the Peach Social Network. Real quick, let's hop into a Wikipedia definition. Peach is a mobile application-based social network created by Dom Hoffman. So, a little bit of context here. Uh, Dom Hoffman is the co-founder and creator of the Vine Social Network. They recently were acquired by Twitter, and he just stepped down from a leadership role about a year ago, um, almost to the day. I'm sure that the acquisition had some type of play in his decision to pursue this uh, other venture. So real quick, let's hop into their URL, peach.cool. Peach is a fun, simple way to keep up with friends and be yourself. Check out the screenshots. They should look a little familiar. We're talking about Vine and things like that. So let's hop into a quick video. on this video, odds are you've at least heard of this app called Peach. But uh, if you're anything like a lot of my co-workers here at Newsy, chances are you're wondering what the heck it is. Well, I'm going to try... Real quick, more context. Who's Micah Sargent? Let's check him out real quick. This is his personal page. Micah Sargent, tech enthusiast, graphic designer, aspiring polymath, and operator of a sparkling mind. Those sound like pretty valid credentials. I write, produce, and talk about stuff at Newsy. I also host, co-host a podcast with AJ Feather called Integrate and another with Christina Warren called Cartoon Cast. Have any questions or need to reach out? Contact me. Probably will. Um, check out some of the stuff I encourage you. He's, uh, he has some pretty fun, fun stuff to look at. So let's hop back to the video explain it to you as much as I understand it myself. Peach is basically bulletin board. There, there are a lot of different ways that people have explained it. Um, one was Twitter, but harder to feed things. I've heard like Slack, but different. Thing is, it's a bit different than all of those. So making the comparison to other social networking apps is not that useful. Your main page shows you a feed where a green dot signifies that someone has posted something new and you can tap into a friend's feed and scroll through and see what they've posted. The thing that makes Peach different from, you know, Twitter or Facebook or something like that is what it calls magic words, which are basically just shortcuts to share bits of information. There are loads of different magic words that you can find, and one of my favorites is, of course, GIF. So when I type in GIF, I can search for a GIF that I want to post, and it'll show me a bunch, and I can use those arrow keys again to select a GIF and just explain how I'm feeling in that moment. Now, people can find you, but I find the, I find the find friend feature to be a little bit difficult, because if you tap add friend, you have to know the exact username and friend you're looking up. The best way, I think, to find a friend is by tapping on a friend you already have, and then tapping the little friend icon at the top and seeing who they are friends with. In terms of simple social communication like you get on so many other social media sites, this really isn't, it seems, meant for that. And really, that's about it. it it's a bulletin board. If you decide to grab Peach, I'm curious to hear what you think. So you can find me on Peach at Micah Sargent, or you can get a hold of me on Twitter. Perfect. For newsy, Thanks, Micah. Right, check out the newsy stuff. I encourage you to do so if you're into tech especially. It's fun. Okay, so I haven't had the opportunity to explore the Peach app for myself, uh, mainly because I do not have an iPhone, and that is one of the limited features uh, for this application at this time, is it is limited to iOS, so you're talking iPad, iPhone, and iTouch only um, right now. So this is the space to download it from the iTunes store. Um, there was an Android version. Uh, it was called Nectarine. I did search for it, uh, trust me, just so I can sort of get an idea for it. I, by, by Android version, I should call out that it was unofficial, and that's probably why it was quickly taken down. Um, so there's that. Uh, so what does this mean for brands and what we do as far as marketers and social media marketing? Well, I think right now the general consensus is that due to the limitations with it being on iOS and it being a very new application, I mean, it's February, uh, this thing came out in January. Um, it is hot right now. Um, there are a few brands that are on board, um, but what I got is that's mainly because they want to, you know, they want to jump ahead of the ball. 
meaning that if the application does take off and it does become a thing, they want to prevent squatting. They want to have sort of um, their their own say. Um, they don't they don't want other people to have unofficial versions of their page. And this was true for like your New York Post, your Huffington Post, and uh, different media publications. There are different apps on board. I mean, there are other corporations on board: Taco Bell, KFC, um, a couple different banks, uh, and things of that nature. Um, but it's just too early to to see if it's going to have an effect in that space. Here is a another blog, and once again, I will be posting these at the end of my uh, resources page. I encourage you to look at them. Um, some more brands: Merriam-Webster, AT&T. Um, this goes on. They do have some cool stuff. Uh, uh, the kind of content that I saw uh, was sort of uh, sort of reminded me of what you would see on Tumblr. Uh, not a lot of in-depth content, but definitely graphic-heavy uh, gifts, things of that nature. So more J. Crew and Starbucks all have Peach accounts now. And once again, the main idea, Chicago Tribune, Washington Post, the main idea is to uh, pretty much get ahead of it and make sure that nobody else gets to use their, their likeness and their, their company name, um, just in case this thing does go mainstream here. I couldn't find any detailed information about the current number of users, um, but uh, maybe the professor will have something some sort of direction we can take a look at that maybe at the end of this presentation where we're discussing it um, um, and there's there are mixed reviews though um, you know some people think it's going to die like some of this other stuff or there are some of the ones that we've never heard about before um, i think it's too early to tell but we'll see where it goes from here uh, thanks for checking out my presentation here's my references my references rather <laughs>